Welcome or welcome back to Watch Advisor on YouTube, World of Watches are the Stars. And today we are at, you can read it, Ferdinand Bertou. We are in Fleurier, in a building where also Chopin, the LUC Chopin is at home. And this is where Mr. Scheufele, the owner, together with his sister and with his parents, they run the business here. And this is where they do the mostly complicated watches and of course Ferdinand Bertou. Why are we here? We have Vincent with us, who is the general manager. Welcome, Vincent. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to welcome you here in Fleurier. And uh, why do we have you here? Um, it's a particular reason. We have been to Geneva a couple of days ago. We had the first look on the new Ferdinand Bertou watches you're going to release during Watches and Wonders. Yes. But I said to myself, I can't show you only the watches. I need to show you where they're done. And so we had the idea to come here. And this is where we are today. And Vincent, what are we going to see in there? <laughs> ah, but you will discover how we make our watches. And that's the most important because we are completely focused on the quality on the product. If you don't see how we do it, you don't understand the product. And, and you wouldn't believe important. it. Exactly, it's really important. And thank you very much for taking the time right before Watches and Wonder to come to discover. And I can tell you I'm very excited myself. <laughs> if you're also wondering what this kind of truck behind us is doing, they are going to produce electricity with solar panels. Yep. And uh, yeah, it's live. There's a truck passing by. But this is used. They are installing solar panels. So Chopin is going to produce energy with solar panels. They're doing everything right, I have to say. But <laughs> there's a word of warning I have to give you. This will be a real watch porn. So in case you are scared or you're not comfortable in watching such a video, skip it. I'm absolutely sure that you're enjoying the video so far, but I want to let you know that this is just a teaser, something that should attract your attention on these Ferdinand Pertou watches. We are showing you the watches. They are being presented at Watches and Wonders 2024. And after Watches and Wonders, we will then present you the entire tour of the workshop. So it will be a really, really, really inside tour into the workshops. So be sure if you watch this video also to come back after Watches and Wonders, look for the Ferdinand Pertou video and then you will find the entire tour of the workshops. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Vincent, first of all, thank you once again for having us here at Ferdinand Bertou or with Chopin. We are talking about a watch that you are presenting now at Watches and Wonders. So first of all, what is the name of the watch? The name of this new collection is FBRES, in French FBRES, standing for Remontoir d'égalité, skeleton remontoir d'égalité. Pretty complicated. Yeah. The pictures will explain a little bit more. The first thing is, we have to say, it is a limited edition of 38 movements, yes, I have to say. movements. And the client has the choice to decide different styles of dials, Dial colors, color, case material, two case shapes, the FB1 octagonal case or the FB2 round case. And of course, the different case materials and the color and finishing of the dial with some variations. We, okay. we offer about 200 different variants, but not more. So you have steel, you have red gold, white gold and platinum. And ceramized titanium, extra hard, resistant to scratches, that is over 1000 vikers. So 38 movements are available. The client will choose his case, his dial, his color. And this is then his personal watch. Yes, and we will actually unveil during the fair a configurator, like for cars, where you can really build your watch and see the picture. And then the customer can send us an email with the picture of the watch he wants, and then we can make an offer directly. Okay. So this also helps to, I would say, limit the creativity, not allowing colors for the dive finishing that we don't manage. Because actually, the dives are not standards, because this is part of the movement. And we cannot make any category of treatments of color. It's not possible to make paint. Yeah, because there is no dial. It is no dial. It is, it is part parts. of the movement. Yeah, I understand. And that's why we have to limit to certain finishing that we can manage, that okay. we can produce. Otherwise, it's not possible. Nicely to see in our video is once you touch the crown, when the watch has not been wound at all, it suddenly starts to tick. Yeah. Why is this the case? We do have an escapement. 
a very special escapement because it is a remontoir d'égalité that is placed before the escapement and this remontoir d'égalité stores the energy and releases the energy every one second to the escapement to the escapement allowing the watch to have a dead beat second display a natural dead beat that is produced by the remontoir itself and interesting also you have a fusée chaîne it is in english Chain and chain and fusée, fusée. and there is a, a small chain. Like you have to imagine, it's a tiny little chain, looking like a chain you have on a bicycle. Absolutely. But this is really micro, 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 microcosmos, yes. and it is manufactured also in house. I think. Completely, yeah. yeah, and decorated in house because every link has to be finished. This is crazy. And assemble. And how long is the entire chain? Two hundred eighty-five millimeter long. Yeah. 790 elements, you need one and a half day to assemble one chain because every element has to be assembled by... Once again, 700? 790 elements for one chain. Crazy. Right. <laughs> and then when you start winding, the energy or the chain will be transferred from one... From the barrel to the fusée. Barrel to the fusée. And when it is then ticking, it is the advantage that you have a very constant delivery of energy to the escapement. Exactly. And this is the purpose. This is the purpose. And this constant flow of energy that is received by the remontoir d'égalité, that is himself a constant force device. Actually, you have two constant force devices in this watch. The combination of these two different constant force devices allows us to have the watch officially chronometer certified by the COSC. And this is unique in the watch industry for a remontoir d'égalité. It's only also the only remontoir that present a central second, that beat second. How precise? Kosk is minus four plus six. Yep. I don't think this is much, too much. No, for our watches we go the half. Half of it. Half of it is the rule for Ferdinand Berthoud. Yeah, And the remontoir d'égalité, as you know, it is the ancestor of the tourbillon. Uh, Berthoud was working on remontoir d'égalité before his student and worker, Mr. Breguet, created his own tourbillon. And this actually, yeah. he discovered that it is as accurate as a tourbillon. The only matter is the time you need to adjust a remontoir. For one movement, we need roughly one month. Because it's much more delicate, you have to leave the remontoir in every position before you can reach really the level necessary accuracy to pass the cost. This is absolutely stunning. You need one month yeah. to regulate the watch. Exactly. It takes weeks and weeks, weeks to and weeks. assemble it, yeah. to decorate the watch, and then still one additional month just to regulate the watch. And this is absolutely stunning. And it explains why. The consequence is that we can only supply 10 remontoir d'égalité watch per year. If one watching the video actually and is interested in buying the watch, you have to be quick if you want to be among the first 10 ones yep. in 2024 to get one probably. Exactly. The others will have to wait another two years. Two years, three years, depends. Three years. Also the complexity of the demand for the design. Of course, we didn't forget to show you that there is a power reserve indication on the front side. You will nicely see when I turn the crown that the power reserve indication goes from zero to one, of course. You do also see all the wheels in the front. Everything is visible, so it's really cinema for the big yeah. cinema. But you know the, the biggest mistake you did on this watch, you know what it is? No. You can't wear it the other way around. Ah, wait, that's another issue. <laughs> <laughs> because it is, excuse me guys if I do say it, it's so fucking <laughs> Beautiful. It's so amazing, stunningly watchmaking. It, it's so thrilling that I really would like to wear such a watch the other way around. The other way. But it's also that's something you have the pleasure when you're the only owner of the watch. Of course. Because nobody can see what is behind. You see the beauty and you, yeah. you, you can enjoy it, but not the other people. That's also the purpose. We keep it on this side. Of course, there's hacking seconds, as you see in the video. When I pull out the crown, of course, the central second hand will stop. And just a, f a funny remark uh, for you, if you buy such a watch, you can always tell that the battery has been hidden behind. <laughs> the watch has 50 hour power reserve. Yeah, and due to the mechanism, 
of delivering the energy yep. to the remontoir d'égalité, you will have the full 50 hours. Exactly. The remontoir works from the first tick yeah. uh, to the ultimate second of the 50 hour. And that's absolutely unique in the watch industry. And I suppose it keeps cost from A yeah. from the beginning until... Exactly. The variation is very, very low during the full power reserve. That's all the benefit of adding the fusée and chain to a remontoir. Thank you very much, Vincent, for a brief introduction into the masterpiece you are presenting at Watches and Wonders. This is a little teaser, so be sure if you watch this video also to come back after Watches and Wonders. Look for the Ferdinand Padoux video end and you will find the entire tour of the workshops.